Okay, YouTube, back here again. Melvin Grant DIY. Find me on YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you like to see. Let me know what you like about what I've posted so far. All right, for those who follow me on Instagram, Mel's Mobile Auto Service. Uh, posted saying this was coming soon. Maddox nine way uh, slide hammer puller set. Five pound set. Uh, I believe they have one of these also in like a two or three pound. Uh, so, we can see the picture here. Pretty versatile set. All different kinds of adapters. We're going to get into each one of those individually. What it does and set it up on the actual slide hammer. Show you how the setup goes. All right. Let's get to it. Open this up here. Okay, we got some instructions in here. We're going to get into that in a minute. Slide the box off. This thing is pretty heavy. So uh, let's get it here. Open this up. Get something back here to hold the back up. All right, there we go. All right, so as we get into it. See everything laid out here. Multiple pullers. It's like a metal jigsaw puzzle. Everything serves a purpose. All right, so let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do, grab the instructions here so we know what everything is we're dealing with. Nine way, five pound slide hammer puller set. Uh, the reason I got this thing here is because I am a uh, Automotive technician by trade, A5 certified, ASC. Um, I own tools by everybody. Snap-on, Mac, Macco, uh, Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh. This is a newer line by Harbor Freight. Been out for a little bit now, Maddox. I'm a fan of what works, so let's get into it. Of course, they got all the safety regulations. Let's get to the parts. Okay, so we got the parts list here. Part number one. Where are we at with part number one? Okay, bolt and nut set. So it's gonna be these bolts here. A set of three of those and in this box somewhere there are three nuts that go with them for the claw pullers we come back number two we got rear axle puller which one is that this one you know that's one puller I'll put that to the side Next up is number three, lock nut. And that is this piece back here. I'm going to show you how all these things work, just going over the pieces that's included with the set. Uh, I bought this with my own money. I don't get paid for any of this, like I said. By trade, I work on cars. This is something I've needed a few times to do axles, axle seals. Uh, so... That's why I got it. I felt like it was good for the price. It cost about somewhere in that eighty dollar range, so I felt good about it. Uh, number four, the jaws. We got three of those back here, and here goes one of the nuts. I said goes to these bolts right here, so. Other ones are probably back there as well. Next up, we got five, which is a puller hook. Uh, 
that'll be this right here. And uh, I believe these instructions have descriptions of what these things will be used for as well. And we got number six, two jaw puller adapter. Right here. I'm going to demo all these for you as well. It's two jaw. Then we got number seven, dent puller adapter. This piece back here. So you can do this for body work as well, apparently. All right. Eight is bolt adapter, which is right here. Number nine, what's it, nine, 12, and 11 are all the slide hammer. I'll get to that in a second. Let's, uh, nine, 11, and 12, I'm sorry. 10 is the, see it down there, three jaw puller. Use the same jaws as the two jaw puller, just one less. Uh, let's see. I said 11, 12, 9, 11, 12, 13 is the screw. It's right here. You find out what the screw is for later on. Uh, 14 is the case itself. Uh, 15 forward hub puller that is this one right here looks similar to the first one but you see the difference sit there to the side as well uh, 16 is the nut right here and 17 is the center bolt back here and as far as 9 11 and 12 go that is the, the entire assembly for the five pound slide hammer so I'm gonna get into this give me some more room there Okay, so as per the instructions, I'm going to set this up here. So, the base assembly is the slide hammer and a lock nut. Okay, slide hammer and lock nut, according to the instructions. See which way it goes in, zoom in for you. So you take the slide hammer here, take the lock nut, and just let's see. Screws on pretty smooth. Okay. So that's the the baseline setup: lock nut, spindle, hammer, T handle. Okay. Sit that down here. Get a good look at that. Okay. Next setup is pulling operation: hub, axle, or drum. So then, we we'll take one of these, this one, or this one, whatever you, whatever you need to set up and pull, and thread this in. Have 
before you need it in. And then you would take the lock nut and bring it down so you can't move. The lock nut's off, so you can just pivot. Once you lock it, it takes a lot of force to unlock it. So, I'll demo both of those for you. Let's see. This feels like quality pieces. It's not like flimsy or, you know, you can see how thick that is. It's not, you know, you're not bending this stuff by hand. And, you know, same deal. Put the lock nut on. It ain't going nowhere. Lock nut off. Free to spin. Okay. Okay, next up we got external grip operation. And internal grip operation. So, first up looks like uh, the two jaw puller. And you can use this both ways. Let's see, we got two jaw puller adapter. These are the jaws here. And, uh, oh, see, there goes the nuts. I said they go to these screws here, these bolts. Let's get all three of them out here. Okay, here we go. Oh, three. focus okay put all three of them right there so for external I mean gripping something from the outside you put the jaws in facing in inward right for Internal, you would have the jaws hooks facing outward. So, I'm going to demo that with both the two and three jaw puller. What you do, you take these bolts, put them through the adapter, take the nut, and depend on, I guess, how you, tight you would need. I mean, it's not gonna, this thing is a pretty thick piece of metal. You got a gap in there, so it probably needs this thing to be able to move freely. Uh, I'm setting this up right now for the external pull, so you see how the hooks are. It will go around something and then grip it and take it off. So then, after that, put it here, back the lock nut off a little bit, you would take it and thread it on, see how that looks. Lock it. Jaws are only going to move a certain amount once 
house is locked, so. I don't think you actually lock this one because you want those jaws to be able to move out further and hook around. So when you use the slide hammer action, when you take this and bang it back, it pulls off whenever you got those jaws hooked around. So that's the external puller. And all you do to make it an internal puller, turn around. Take the nuts off. Take the bolt out. Take the jaw. Flip the jaw around. Okay. Put the nut back on. And do the same thing to the other side. Now, because it is similar to the, very similar to the three jaw, just with two jaws, uh, itself, once you get to this point, you know, I'm not going to demo the three jaw. Um, unless someone comments and they want me to, then I'll put it on there. Uh, but right now, we're just going to do this. And this is actually, it actually gets in pretty tight. So you could use this to pull like small bearings, probably down to like motorcycle wheel bearings. Uh, maybe if you work on manual transmission, you do it a clutch. Maybe you can pull a pilot bearing if it's big enough for you to get in. Um, but that's definitely small enough to pull a motorcycle wheel bearing. So that's the inside puller, and I showed you the outside puller. Now let's see. Take this all off, and I'll demo one type for the. Uh, the three jaw. I will demo one. I'm already here. Might as well. All right. So let's go inside puller with the three jaw. I would also recommend finding out these bolt sizes. I believe they're posted in the instructions just in case you lose one or two. So that way you can go buy extra nuts and bolts. So you have spares. Oh, huh. <laughs> It'd work better if I actually put the jaw in there, wouldn't it? And there we go for the internal three jaw. Like I said, it looks real, not real similar, but look similar to the two, like I said, and they, they're, it gets really small in there. So you could pull a variety of bearings with this. You got to think it's going to go from that small to not even just bearings, but anything to that big. All right. So break this back down. Put it to the side. Mm -hmm. 
just so I don't lose the bolts or the nuts. So, next step, they actually have dent pulling operation. Now I see that screw, showed you earlier, it's actually part of the dent pulling operation. So you'd have to, what I say, drill a hole in the center of the dent, use the screw through the dent puller adapter. Hmm. Let's see how that's supposed to work. Just put the screw. Oh, wow. You can see that in there. It has a hex cut into it. So you can do that. You screw it on here. Lock it. And that's the dent puller setup. Oh, that's decent. Yeah, that's, that's nice. And I'm not a spokesman for Harbor Freight. Like I said, I'm a fan of what works. So, if it makes sense to me, I'll have it in my toolbox. Uh, I'll have it available. Again, all this is paid for my own money. I have no sponsors whatsoever. Let's see. Hook. Hook thread pulling operation. Hmm. So the hook puller. Okay, so it's the hook. So the hook looks like locked in. Now, what does it say to use the hook for? Okay, so put this on any a lipped area. So, I mean, I'm. I'm guessing you'll be able to work this around and pull a bearing or a seal, something of that nature. Uh, and then it says thread pulling operation as well. So, uh, But it says use the where we at down here. Use the bolt adapter for larger cross sections and thicker sheet metal. Oh, so that's actually for dents as well. That's for dents as well, and any threaded objects that may be, I guess, pressed in. See, if you had something that was, was screwed into something, but the threads of that object are pressed in, I guess depending on, you know, it had to be a specific size in order to use this because you can't change the size. You would screw this in, screw the hammer into it, and use this to pull out, I guess, a threaded sleeve or something like that. So this would just screw on here. And then you would use this to pull out some kind of threaded sleeve or a bigger dent. So this kit looks pretty universal. Uh, and then back here, tool care, maintenance, lubrication. And going back over those, uh, this is actually a purchase date down here at the bottom. Haven't used it yet. So I figured I'd use it for unboxing and uh,
so far, I like what I see. Um, you know, the real proof is going to come when I have to use it. Uh, but I like what I see from, I've used other slide hammers. This thing is pretty, pretty stout. Good weight. I got the five pound as opposed to a lighter weight for the versatility. I can pull smaller objects, bigger objects. Um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you like. You know, comment, subscribe, get the notifications from me. I got more stuff coming. Like I said, not a spokesperson for Harbor Freight. Once again, not a spokesperson for any tool brand. I am a fan of what works. And in case you want to remember, once again, this is the Maddox nine way, five pound slide hammer puller set. Uh, part number up in the corner right there and I like what I see again Melvin Grant DIY like subscribe comment let me know what you want to see if you know something you have any questions about hit me up I'm gonna have more unboxings and revealings coming soon uh, again, something else here. I feel like this is bang for the buck. And uh, again, Melvin Grant DIY. Like, subscribe, comment. Have a good one.